Hi Paula, I'm Tracy Niehaus and I welcome you to my kitchen up here in the north woods of Wisconsin. Um, when I heard about this audition and this recipe contest, I thought of my grandma. For years when I was growing up, me and my grandma used to cook together and when she passed, I got the privilege of her recipe box and it was full of good ideas and ones that I could make my own and other ones that were perfect just the way they are. But all these memories I'm going to put aside for now because I picked out one that I thought we all would just really enjoy. And this is diced potatoes and sour cream. And as you can see, it's gotten a lot of use. I'm getting a little laryngitis, so I apologize if I squeak. But you can see this has gotten gone through some really good times here. But we're going to put that aside. I got some baby red potatoes boiling as we speak. And they're perfect. They're not too firm. They're not too soft. Because you don't want a real mushy potato. You want something with a little consistency. Get those, put those in the colander to drain. We'll get some of that water out of there. Nobody likes a runny potato salad. Get some, let that sit a little bit. Get some of that water out of there. Now I'm going to come over. And with our, we have the chive and onion Philadelphia cream cheese that we're going to put in here. Oh. Does that look good? And we're just going to warm this up just so that when we put it over our potatoes, it's going to mix all together. I'm going to put some of this bacon. I fried some bacon up earlier. I'm going to put some of this bacon in here. Put a little bit of that bacon fat in there too. You can't go wrong with all that goodness. Let's turn this down to a low. And you can see that it's already getting kind of mushy and nice and creamy. And then we're going to put in a teaspoon of brown mustard. I like the spicy brown mustard. It kind of gives it that extra zing and that extra little something that it needs. And to kind of get this to a better consistency, I like to use some apple vinegar, just two tablespoons of that. Put that in there. Just enough to get it that nice creamy you can see that there. Doesn't that look good? All that bacon, the chives, the onion. Looks really good. We're just going to set that aside for now. We're going to get our potatoes ready. Get, let me make sure all that water's out of there. Throw our potatoes in there. You see how they're nice and steamy and ready for what we're going to do here. And I got some salt. And you can salt the taste. Salt that to your own personal taste. And pepper. I like the white pepper when I do my potato salads because you know you don't want to go to you don't want to go to a picnic and see little specks of anything in your potato salad. You don't know if that is a bug or if it's potato bits or pepper bits. And I'd rather just not have to think about that when I'm eating my potato salad outside. And the beauty of this potato salad is it can be served hot or cold. Either way, it's good, and I personally like it a little warm because it all just melts together. We're going to put our sour cream, or I'm sorry, our Philadelphia cream cheese mixture over our potatoes. And I pre diced some uh, green onions, just a little handful of green onions. You can kind of see. Doesn't that look good? I mean, that just looks wonderful. And I'm going to fold this together. I don't like to mix it because if you mix, you're going to mush your potatoes up. I like to fold it just until everything gets covered. Get all those flavors together. Get them all together like that. Isn't that beautiful? That is perfect. And now I'm going to take, this is one of my grandmother's bowls. Like I said, I, I took her recipe and I went all the way. I took her bowls, her plates, and everything. It makes me feel like she's right here with me cooking. I miss her a lot. So I'm going to put these potato salad into one of her beautiful bowls here. Oh, doesn't that look good? That looks just wonderful. Put some more of this onion on top, little garnish, little parsley that I've chopped up here, and some more of this bacon. Got throw some of that bacon on top. Oh, does that look fabulous? That is wonderful. Look at that. Nice warm potato salad. But my husband's going to be home soon, so I'm going to plate it up for him so it's all nice and ready. 
Take a nice big scoop. Oh, you know what this looks like to me, Paula? This looks like seconds. That's what that looks like to me. Now you look at that, and that is wonderful. I'll throw a little extra on the top there. And that's your dinner ready for, for your husband when he gets home. And Paula, I'd like to say, I know you're a good southern girl who likes her southern cooking and her eating, but we like to do that up in the Northwoods too. So I'm hoping that we can bring the North and South together in the kitchen. And I hope to see you soon. Have a nice day.